Well, good morning everybody. Um, as you can see, I'm back in the back. Yay! Um, yeah, I actually just finished fixing it yesterday. So, going to work this morning is the first trial ride. So far everything seems fine. The fuel tank keeps building up pressure. Um, so opening it sucks a little now and then. Uh, there's a couple of things that I still need. Um, waiting for mirrors, uh, front indicators, and yeah, just a little plate to cover the top there. Other than that, she's up and running, growling, perfect. So, uh, yeah, today's not just a weekend update, uh, it's what the fuck has he been up to for the last two weeks? That type of update. Well, fuck, I keep looking at my mirrors. That's the hospital I stayed in for two, three days. It's down there. Really, really nice place. Um, worst fucking hospital stay ever because no matter how you lie your knee fucking hurts and also I've I've recently become used to moving around a lot more than I did when I was a kid so I mean my, my sister can lie in bed all day I fucking can't if I'm awake for longer than 10 minutes I have to get out of bed, go pee, go walk around, go drink water, anything like that. So the road's really, really bumpy, so it sounds like I've constantly trying to hold in a fart or something. Um, yeah, so total medical bills came to around 20,000. Um, my medical aid sends me emails and SMSs and shit like well, text messages shit like that saying this is what was claimed for and this is what we're paying whoops so far they've paid for everything awesome um i know it's nowhere near what the yankee hospitals cost i mean this they would have probably cost me in the region of fifty thousand dollars <laughs> i'm just judging by what i've seen on reddit um, my knee is still iffy, still quite sore, um, it's filled with a lot of fluid. The doctor, I went to go and see him on Friday, and um, he reckons if it's not down within two weeks, I need to come see him again, so that we can drain it. Um, yeah. So there's not much else we can do about it, except wait. Um, lady friend has a long complicated story. Um, okay, so she recently got out of a relationship with her ex, or obviously her ex. They have got a kid together, so it complicates things a lot more. Um, she says she's not ready for something really serious anymore. Uh, she's been like this for the last couple of weeks. I told her, tell me straight up, if you feel that you don't see a future, and you know, I'd rather that than string each other on. And that's what she did on Saturday. Um, hurts like fuck. Um, probably more than my knee does right now um, but 
I appreciate that you told me. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that situation. So I guess I just have to warn all the people out there. I'm on the prowl again. Triumph chick, you better lock up your boyfriend. Because I'm coming for that man beast. Chip hard, buddy, if you grow a beard again. Nom, 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 nom. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Okay, so plans for the future on this thing. Respray the tank because yesterday it was a rush job. Um, so it looks like shit. It needs to be sanded down, fucking redone. Shouldn't take too long. I'll set aside a weekend and do it properly. Get home on a Friday morning or Friday afternoon or something early. Sand it, prep it, paint it the next day. I just need to find a day when the weather's better. This weekend it's also been pissing down a lot. Um, but yeah. I missed the fuck out of my bike and you guys. So... I guess that's pretty much all there is to say. Adios amigos.